What's going on, Joe fans? Mr. Ten Thirteen here with another review. This time we're going to check out GI Joe Classified Series Figure Number Seventy Four, Scrap Iron and the Anti Armor Drone. This is a deluxe figure. Initially, in my, in my previous reviews, I said Snow Job was a deluxe figure. Now I don't know if he was like labeled as a deluxe figure because it was still in a bigger box, or I could be wrong. But I know this is a deluxe figure because because <laughs> I sound like Wizard of Oz, but because he comes with the arm the drone here or a vehicle and i think the deluxe figures are the old the bigger packaging when it comes with an animal companion or a vehicle or something like that but nevertheless we're here now looking at this deluxe figure and we're gonna move him out the way real quick we gotta take a look at the box art so let's move this out the way let's take a look at the cover or the box art on the diorama this figure looks really good the photographers do a great job with this on the box covers we got some sky strikers in the back we got them at the cobra this might be the gi joe or the cobra base in the background look like they're on the landing strip so this is very nice we see the truck in the back no other little details in the background a little easter eggs anything like that we got a nice shot of scrap iron over here the artwork we get all the accessories listed up at the top right um turning to the side we get a better look at the artwork which is very nicely done uh, number 74 down at the bottom turn it on the back we get some close-up details of the grenades or the vest um, that drone we got a nice shot of the head scope which we're definitely going to check into and um, we see that the figure is 6.2 inches tall um, show all the list of all the accessories on the back we got his icons let's see what these are we got a, um, a bomb here we got missiles here we got anti-armor there and we got an uh, anvil so heavy weapons are still right there that's what we're gonna say we're gonna turn it to the side we got the qr code and icons at the very bottom we got some more artwork right there turn it back to the front and we are done with looking at the box so let's get into the figure first and let's let's get to look at these details because this is one of those head sculpts man where they did an amazing job so this also puts me in the mind of if we get cesspool i think cesspool is going to be an amazing figure especially if they're doing stuff like this with um with scrap iron i think cesspool is going to be very nicely done he might even be a deluxe figure i could see cesspool being a deluxe figure but um back to the head sculpt and who we're talking about scrap iron they got some nice details here with the um scars and marks on his face um hair is matte here we go has some nice two tones in there the eye, let's talk about the eye, man. It's like he just, yeah, they did an amazing job on his head sculpt. This is the standout on it. He got some cuts on his lip here. Very nice, very nice. And, and we're just moving down as we do the details, but the head sculpt is amazing. Very clean Cobra insignia right there. Um, the black on the red vest is kind of, mm, could be better. We got some little chips away right there. Um, some wear right here as well. Which could kind of go with the figure since he just be messing around with explosives and everything. But um, very nicely done. Very clean around here. Two types of red. We got a, a more of a darker red. And we have a, uh, a brighter red here. A duller red. A brighter red here. Very nice touches on the gold. Like the bronze down there. Or brass buckles here, here, and here. Um, very nice. All blue. Touches of black. Oh, that's flat matte black i like that right there um for the padding that is a very nice touch um gloves got a little bit of gloss to them again all blue coming down here the knee pads match the pads on the back of the arms right here so we got that very dry like matte finish there so i like that a lot boots got some touches of matte right there got a little bit of gloss give us some some character and we got the red buckles going across the very bottom of the feet on the back of the character um pretty much that we got some hits of the brass right here and right here subtle details there um very solid figure very solid figure detail the quality looks really good um not too many bad paint apps majority is one color and then like the bleeding and the blacks on the reds and everything is pretty clean other than the wear up at the top on other vests but other than that again head sculpt is amazing man i'm, I'm loving this i'm loving it um we're gonna move this out the way and we're gonna take a look at his accessories so we might as well get into it we got the of course the drone here the anti-armor drone this does have a little bit of articulation right here 
Um, I wish the treads actually move. The treads do not move on the anti drone, so that was like a missed opportunity. But uh, we probably would have had to pay a couple more dollars. Um, or even if these could like lift up, you know what I mean, and get a higher position, that would have been dope as well. But we do have articulation here as well. This can turn full 360. And I didn't do articulation for the figure. Um, but we got some nice little hits of like a green laser uh, pointer maybe on the top of that. Nice hit of gold. Got the black right here. Um, green. I'm glad to add like a little bit of color and stuff on here. We got anti-tank with the um, logo, Mars logo here. 002. On the back we get um, some bronze with the Cobra insignia and then the lights on the back. So I'm glad they gave us a little bit of articulation with this as well. He also comes with his helmet. This is very nicely done. I love the visor on there. I wish it was a little bit of see-through on there. We can look like on the box art right here. You can see his eyes through there. But um, it seems like it's pretty dark and you can't see anything through there. But a nice clean Cobra insignia at the top. Uh, matte black finish on the helmet as well. He has the, the controller. It has a different, you know, a darker red just to give it that illusion of some holographics there. Uh, no articulation here, just two rubber pieces. Um, these don't move at all. On the back, just a solid piece of plastic. And before we get to that, just get into articulation real quick. Back with um, scrap iron. Here it does a full 360. Up and down. Arms go out. Butterfly hinge. Bicep turn. Double jointed elbows. Twist at the wrist, hinged at the wrist as well. Got a little bit of, there you go, a little bit of crunch right there, a little bit of ab crunch right there. Twist at the waist, legs go out, drop hinge, thigh twist, even with the harness right there, so no hindrance right there. Double jointed knees, boot swivel at the top, pivot on the ankle and a rocker on the ankle as well so yeah and so now let's get to some of the accessories this thing comes with we got a bag of them got a whole bunch of missiles and so we come with the missile <laughs> missile smoke that goes into the drone we'll check that out and we have the two missiles as laser guided and then it has the it looks like the number of vehicles that each missile is taking out. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what these are um, that took out the vehicles. So uh, very nice touches on there. And we also got these blast effects, um, hard plastic. Um, as you can see, they on the box art. You can just place them on the ground like so, just showing um, you know where the blast. All right, and all that other good stuff. So we got a couple of those, and we got a couple of actually when they landed. So very nice additions, very bulky, but they're solid pieces of plastic for sure. Um, so let's get an idea. We are gonna go ahead and throw the helmet on there. Fits very good on him. Looks good on him. Looks good on him. We're gonna throw him back on the stand as well right there pop him right there and we can move him in the back because we are going to add um, so the missiles have some peg holes right there on very small right there on the back but they go right there so we can pop that in there and those slide right into the drone like so and we're going to add this one Gonna slide right in there, and that's about as high as it's gonna go right there. So yeah, I like it. I like. I, I'm glad that they started adding like little things like that, Just especially for your for your dioramas and everything. And of course, you can actually put the um, miss. You don't have to have the blast effects coming out. You can just have. The missiles come in, or missiles place inside like so, and they fit tucked right in there like that as well. So, however you want to display, 
Um, he does have his pistol. I don't even think I stated he had his pistol. So he does have a pistol as well. And that goes right there on the side. Like so. There we go. And he doesn't have anywhere to place the data pad or the uh, remote control so he can just hold it in his hands. And let's see if we can get it like they have it on. You just hold it. But there you have it, man. There he is. Scrap iron and anti-armor drone. This is classified G.I. Joe classified series figure number 74, the deluxe figure. I'm um, pretty sure he might be available. You might be able to get your hands on him um, on any online toy market. I appreciate you guys for stopping through. Like, share, and subscribe and hanging in there with me. I'll catch you guys on the next review. Peace.